decorative pillows can be made in a variety of ways and in this video I'm going to show you a super simple pillow. Easy to make and very quick to put together. I'm making a 16 inch square pillow with one piece of fabric that measures 33 inches by 17 inches. So let's take a look and see how I came up with those measurements. This fabric is the front and the back, so that would be 16 times two, which is 32 inches. And then we're gonna add one inch for half inch seam allowances, one on each edge, and that would be 33 inches. And the short ends of this fabric would be 16 inches for the finished size of the pillow, plus the one inch for the half inch seam allowances on each end. Besides thread, the only other thing you need is fiber fill to stuff the pillow. You can use a pillow form. It may take you slightly longer because you have to fit the pillow to match the pillow, pillow form, but either will work. Fold the fabric in half across the width and stitch the side seams. I used a serger on this and I'm trimming away a quarter of an inch and I have a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but you can use the sewing machine just as easy with half inch seam allowances. Now you'll turn this to the right side and use a point turner for nice, clean, sharp corners. The lower edge of the pillow is open with raw edges, and we're going to turn those edges in and edge stitch it closed after we stuff it. So I use the serger. You can also use an overcast stitch on the sewing machine, or you can skip this step altogether because the edges will be turned in and stitched down. So it's not totally necessary to finish those edges. Fold the seam allowance in and use clips to hold the edges together so that we can edge stitch them. I'm using an open embroidery foot and I've placed the edge of the pillow next to the inside right toe about 1 8 inch from the edge. Starting at one corner, stitch about 4 to 5 inches and then back stitch. Repeat the stitching at the opposite corner so you have a center opening for putting the fiber fill into the pillow. I usually start with the corners and get a good amount of fiber fill up into the corners and then I put fiber fill into the body of the pillow. You decide how much you want. Do you want a pillow that's a little flat or do you want a nice puffy cushy pillow? That would be up to you. Once you get the desired amount, you're going to push that fiber fill down into the pillow away from the opening. The last step is to close that opening in the center of the edge and your pillow will be finished. You'll want to massage the pillow and work to distribute the fiber fill evenly throughout the pillow. I made these two pillows using that same technique and each one took me roughly 15 minutes a piece. So you can really do a lot with a short amount of time. Thanks for watching my video and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me at sofeet.com.